Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Pitsky Trippin. It was a great night last night. We're gonna do a couple things today. I got a lot of honeydews to do today. I really would like to be in here in the office, but I gotta take care of some stuff at home because I've been gone and it's like getting to be spring and we gotta take care of some stuff. And last night, I'm actually rendering out, took the car out to the track and did some work out there to learn the car a little bit. And had some fun here but this is what we're going to be talking about today really quick here a2000 up here so we got the a2000 you can see right here let me zoom in here a2006 gigs playing around with some settings here at about 40 to to 42 mega hash playing with these settings here you guys can see here i'm at 1000 and then 3300 core 70 power limit and I, the highest I've seen it right now is about 42. Now, uh, I'm, I was skeptical of this 70 watts here because of the riser. So we went ahead and did this. So I want to show you guys. We got it hooked up to the meter here. And you can see right here the riser power. That's the only thing that's plugged in. There is no 8 pin here or 6 pin. It is just the riser. You guys can see that there. It's plugged in there. That's the only thing it's plugged into. This little guy is tiny compared to that you know power supply there you can see the profile you know and if i grab another card well, we got some cards over here here's a normal zotac mini right so this is zotac mini and let's bring over this is a 3070 here to give you an idea we'll grab both of these and you can see the perspective of how big this a2000 is and let's go over here we're gonna have a bigger deep dive than this but i'm just giving you kind of a perspective here so if you can see the a2000 profile and then here is that GPU. So if these were the together here, you would see a pretty decent size versus like a 3070, you know, difference here. So, and there's a Zotac Mini next to it. So it's, the Zotac Mini looks huge compared to that. But anyways, this thing is running, as you can see here, the meter 48.5 watts off that riser. So this is capturing the power. So it's saying 70 watts and I'm trying to reconcile that because the only thing I'm pulling from the meter here, and there's a little parasitic loss here, but uh, there's not a you know 30 watt difference. So this thing's only using 50 watts. So what we're gonna try to do is play around with some of these settings and see, and as you can go back here, you can see we're up to 41 mega hash on this little guy for 50 watts. Now that's a different proposition. So I'm looking to build an eight card rig of these here soon, and then we'll do a deep dive on that because if this thing's really truly only pulling 50 watts for 42 mega hash, the A2000 shoots to the top as one of the most efficient cards you can get. Uh, and if these price points on these cards, which right now are around 700 bucks, kind of expensive for that little guy. Uh, I was looking for a price point around 399 to 400, but it's all gonna be driven based on demand, right? And if those are the most efficient cards out there, it's gonna get that. So hopefully you guys like this real quick one. We're gonna do a further deep dive on other coins with the A2000, so that's not it. We're gonna do Flux, Ergo, um, some of the other coins out there, Raven Coin, and see some stuff. But I wanted to give you a quick insight to just something for today and show you what's coming up. We got an absolute metric ton of content coming. I know I've been saying this, but again, we're still trying to get to this. You can see we're doing a lot of custom work here. We actually brought a power strip in and actually wired it into a way and mounted it up in the corner there to where it's not actually, you know, exposed too much. And then it allows us to get our wiring and stuff an order here to make it look real clean. I'm trying to make this studio setup clean. You can see our camera mount here now. I can bring this down, put a camera on it, and then the camera's gonna sit like so. Um, and we got that. We got the microphones over there now. I'm gonna bring this back up. And we're almost there. We're almost there, my dudes. Like we got, got power down here. Now it's a matter of getting the cabling and the, the render box and capture box over there and then it's go time. So hopefully this next week, we also got a huge surprise for you guys. Hopefully Monday shows up and we'll be going through that too. Uh, what else is going? There's one more thing before I let you guys go. Let's take a walk into the warehouse 
We're gonna couple other cool things. Some of you guys following us on Twitter probably saw. Let's throw some lights on here. Reep, reep. Here we go, right over there in the corner. There it is, my dudes. We are going to play around with this. So this is the Tesla Cyber Quad. This is the kid version, but I think we're gonna do some BBT modifications to this little guy and see what we can actually crank out of it. Maybe boost the motor up, put some shocks on it. I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna play around with this. This is part of what this shop is for, is some of the fabrication fun also so much other stuff my dudes we also got an l7 over here running right here you guys can see l7 it's running right now running nice and cool it's only about 60 degrees in this room and of course we got the a5000 over here running with some 3090s and you can see some of those doing pretty decent right now 101 we got that at in two 126s there Got some 3060s over there. Or th th yeah, 3060 TIs. And a couple other rigs that need to go and get service. Tons and tons and tons of content, my dudes. So make sure you're liking and subscribing. We're going to be covering a lot of different stuff. Thanks, guys, for the support. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.